Well, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, I'm Stephen Flanagan, Senior Vice President here at CSIS and uh, holder of the Henry Kissinger Chair. And it's a pleasure to um, welcome you this afternoon to our discussion uh, of a regional approach to regional problems, the prospects for cooperation between the OSCE and uh, CICA. So we have uh, time is rather limited uh, for these panels, so I'm going to move rather quickly, and I'll introduce our uh, our speakers in just a moment. But just a word for those of you in Washington who aren't as familiar with uh, CICA as you are with the OSCE, and, uh, and as just as a way to open our discussion. The, the CS, CICA, uh, the Conference on Interaction and Confidence Building Measures in Asia, is an organization that works to advance uh, peace, security, and stability by building cooperation among its member states which include Afghanistan, Azerbaijan, Bahrain, uh, China, Egypt, India, Israel, Iraq, Jordan, Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan, Mongolia, Pakistan, Palestine, Republic of Korea, Tunisia, Tajikistan, Thailand, Turkey, UAE, uh, Uzbekistan, Vietnam. So it's quite a ranging, as you can see, a broad ranging group throughout uh, Central and Southwest Asia and into East Asia. So achieving uh, such peace and security uh, is CSCI's commitment and encouraging also trade and economic cooperation among its members, uh, undertaking other aspects of cooperation uh, in, in, in combating illicit drug production, uh, eliminating uh, counter combating terrorism, collaboration on environmental issues, a whole range of other, other questions. So in many ways, uh, uh, approaching and similar to the uh, the, uh, the various baskets, if you know, if, as you, those of you familiar with OSC recall of the of the economic, the uh, security, and the uh, and the political and hum human human uh, uh, baskets of OSCE, and of course the Republic of Turkey, uh, uh, which has been uh, very gracious in in sponsoring some of this event and particularly the reception this evening, uh, is the chair, and uh, and we have Ambassador Tan with us as our first speaker uh, of the program. Uh, secondly, of course, the OSCE uh, remaining uh, perhaps much better known here in Washington uh, as an organization uh, which has uh, existed uh, really as the conscious of Europe for, uh, for uh, almost over three decades now, uh, uh, enabling uh, its 56 member countries uh, from Europe, Central Asia, and North America to discuss uh, a wide range of issues uh, uh, in, uh, in the security and economic and political and human dimensions. Uh, and also aspects of democracy promotion uh, and increasingly uh, playing a more active and operational role um, <clears throat> certainly over the last 20 years in, in, uh, in uh, safeguarding uh, democratic uh, developments uh, and trying to promote uh, a peaceful resolution of disputes and, and aspects of conflict prevention through its various missions. So just as a reminder of, of these two organizations and, and what are the prospects of cooperation, we're delighted to have three uh, very senior and, and experienced diplomats today with us to, to discuss this as an opening uh, bid on, of this agenda which you have before you. First of all, to my immediate left, uh, Ambassador Namik Tan, Ambassador of the Republic of Turkey uh, to the United States, who has uh, been, uh, held this position, of course, uh, since uh, almost just about his celebrating his first anniversary. A difficult year it's been, uh, but he's, he's, he's done so remarkably well as in previous tours here, and of course he was previously uh, ambassador to uh, Israel before this most recent assignment and also uh, a number of other uh, positions and postings both overseas and uh, in, uh, in Ankara. And you have his, uh, his bio uh, in your um, description. So uh, as, the, uh, as the current chair uh, of the, 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 the um, CICA, uh, we were going to start with Ambassador Tan, then turn uh, to Ambassador, uh, then the, the, out, the, the former and the, uh, and, the, and, the, and the current chair of the OSCE, a uh, chair and office of the OSCE country. Uh, so we'll first hear from uh, the uh, outgoing chair, the last year's chair, uh, 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 Kazakhstan, with Ambassador uh, Iran uh, Idrisov, uh, 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 speaking uh, in that capacity. Uh, he has uh, served here and, uh, as ambassador uh, uh, since uh, J uh, July of, of 2007, uh, having previously served also in an, as ambassador to, uh, uh, to a number of countries in Europe, including the United Kingdom, Sweden, and Norway, and a number of other senior positions uh, in his ministry. And last but not, not least, uh, we're very pleased that the, uh, representing the current chair in office, uh, uh, the uh, Deputy Chief of Mission, uh, Mr. Simonas uh, Satunas uh, of Lithuania is here today uh, to, uh, to speak uh, on some of the, their thinking about, uh, about this issue as the, representing the current chair in office. 
Uh, he has uh, 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 served here um, uh, since July of, of last summer, uh, having uh, previously uh, uh, been uh, also in, uh, involved uh, in, in um, the State Department as a special advisor on, uh, on OSCE issues. Uh, and serving as a, a, an advisor to President Adamkus uh, uh, back in uh, Vilnius. So uh, we're very pleased. We don't have much time, but I'll turn the floor over to uh, M Ambassador Tan. Thank you. Thank you, Steve. Uh, I, I really appreciate all your remarks about uh, Turkey's efforts, but uh, I believe we should first uh, acknowledge and thank you warmly about the support of uh, CSIS to our efforts to make this organization, which we think, I think, critically important uh, in terms of uh, the security issues in, in, the, in, the, in Central Asia, uh, to, to be known uh, to American audiences. Uh, I believe we, uh, for the second time, I think, uh, in, uh, our efforts were responded positively by our friends in CSIS and uh, you are leading those efforts, and I, I want to thank you, uh, first of all, uh, uh, in your person and uh, to, to the institution as well, and to our dear friend, uh, Bülent Aliriza, Dr. Aliriza, I believe he's uh, somewhere here, but anyway, he uh, has given us a lot of support, and we uh, appreciate his, his uh, uh, contributions. And also, I want to thank to uh, my colleagues and uh, uh, my dear friend uh, Erlan and uh, our uh, uh, dear friend from uh, 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 the, the present chair. Um, of course, this issue, uh, as you all know, uh, is, uh, 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 is is going to be. I mean, as as as, as the. Uh, uh, the uh, efforts of uh, um, uh, Turkey is concerned. I think uh, here in this town, uh, many of our colleagues from different agencies um, um, do have a little knowledge of what SICA has been uh, doing. And this, uh, 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 I think, panel discussion, I hope, will help and offer a, a sort of a medium uh, uh, for our uh, distinguished uh, uh, friends, just uh, audience, uh, to get to know uh, what uh, SICA is trying to achieve. Um, of course, there will be high-level competent representatives, uh, both from um, the capitals of OEC and SICA uh, chairmanships as well as the secretariats of the two organizations and the State Department and other specialists to speak on particulars of this cooperation. Therefore, I will uh, re limit my remarks to uh, generic uh, policy lines with a view to offering some ideas for thought. These are my, by, by no means conventional. Since we are in early stages of the OSC SICA concepts, I will thus attempt to tease our thoughts to, uh, to your thoughts to encourage discussions in this forthcoming panels. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, Turkey assumed, as you all know, SICA chair for two years during the third uh, SICA summit in Istanbul last summer. Our term focuses on how indivisible and cooperative security in Asia can be established, primarily, of course, through dialogue. In doing, doing so, uh, I think we would like to expand our experiences in UN, OSCE, EU, and NATO to the SICA area. Another focus is to establish wider awareness and thus visibility to a newborn international organization with ambitious tasks and challenges. This event will hopefully serve addressing this objective as well. SICA is a new actor in the long row of international organizations 
molding member nations from across a diverse and va vast area. Profiles of its members are indeed diverse on a multitude of variables. We have China, Russia, India, Pakistan, Iran, Israel, Iraq on board uh, under the same roof. At first glance, it, mu it might seem difficult to align these nations in common objectives. Bringing together these members, however, is an achievement in itself. SICA provides a more flexible framework for, uh, uh, to work on specific cooperation schemes among its members. Across the board, there are common issues with shared objectives and concerns. Afghanistan offers a good example in this regard. Drug trafficking is yet another concern for all members, which I believe is an issue that we can easily find cooperation frames. Moreover, there is considerable background work, achievement and success stories about OSCE has, uh, that, that the OSCE has built through its, uh, its history. That will in turn be useful for a new, larger geography represented by SICA. SICA is a young but vibrant and dynamic organization with 23 members. Iraq and Vietnam joined the body of nations as most recent members during the Istanbul summit. Once interested in the observer status, Cambodia's full membership is most recently approved uh, on February 28. Bahrain and Philippines, on the other hand, gained observer status in October last year. SICA opens a window of opportunity with huge potential. It is up to the members to make use of it. This event will enable us to dig into those possibilities and the potential as to how we can utilize SICA in addressing the challenges of our times in a vast basin. In other words, we have embarked on a quest to find viable ways to SICA and OAC to cooperate exchange best practices and know-how that would be beneficial for SICA area and its uh, uh, nations. And uh, 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 to just to conclude, I would like to thank uh, CSIS again uh, for, uh, for all its support. And I would like to thank also all uh, uh, you all for attending this uh, this event and listening to me. Thank you. Thank you very much, Ambassador Tan. Ambassador Idrisov, uh, as the uh, bridge between OSCE and, and uh, SICA, uh, the floor is yours. Thank you. Thank you for reminding me of the uh, bridge role of Kazakhstan. <laughs> uh, uh, let me first of all uh, join Ambassador Tan uh, in thanking uh, you, Dr. F uh, Flanagan, and uh, our friends in CSS for uh, attracting attention to SICA once again. I remember about half a year ago we had an event here, uh, and we had an uh, initial discussion on uh, SICA, what it is and how you have to eat it, what it is about. And uh, uh, I'm very glad to be here today uh, at another event uh, where we have uh, uh, quite a powerful panel of experts. Uh, uh, one can see on the program that we have uh, quite a representative team of uh, those who deal specifically with SICA issues uh, in Kazakhstan, in Turkey, uh, and other places. Uh, and uh, today's uh, topic for the event is uh, quite symbolical. Uh, it's about SICA and uh, OEC, how they can uh, uh, bridge with each other. You know that Kazakhstan, by uh, its uh, geography, is... Uh, 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 or its geography has helped Kazakhstan to define its uh, foreign policy priorities. Uh, we usually say that we are in the heart of Eurasia. We look to four winds uh, of the world, uh, and uh, uh, one leg is in Asia and one, another leg is in Europe. 
Last year, we had an excellent experience of our European taste, uh, chairing the OEC as the, uh, one of the uh, key security organizations uh, in Europe. <coughs> but back, back in 1992, in early 90s, uh, we came up with this uh, SIC idea, understanding that Asia as a huge part of the world uh, deserves uh, uh, some uh, uh, institutions which will address the issues of uh, common concern. Uh, security, cooperation, partnership uh, in different areas were in our minds and uh, with this uh, we came uh, as an idea to uh, uh, build a partnership within Asia. Of course we looked around and uh, uh, we, uh, uh, we uh, saw uh, Europe as an example of uh, how countries can come together and work together on a, on a host of uh, uh, issues and we offered this uh, uh, to uh, our Asian partners uh, earlier on, of course, uh, uh, that was met with uh, some uh, uh, skepticism, uh, let me be frank with you. Uh, a young nation uh, coming out of uh, a black uh, uh, space called USSR comes with an uh, idea of uh, building a unified Asia. That was, of course, uh, taken uh, with a polite diplomatic interest, let me put it like that. Like that. Uh, but we persevered and uh, we built uh, our efforts. Uh, we uh, tried to bring experience of uh, uh, um, uh, other institutions, other players. And uh, as Ambassador Tan uh, has uh, told you, SICA is gaining uh, uh, momentum. Uh, if you think of SICA in statistical terms, uh, it is quite uh, uh, impressive. Uh, uh, SICA is, uh, const uh, uh, membership of SICA, which is 20, 21, I understand now it's 22, right, with uh, Cambodia joining, uh, uh, constitutes 90% of Asia's territory, 90%. Uh, SICA constitutes uh, half of the global of the world's population. Uh, uh, SICA's economy combined, SICA country's economy combined, also gives you uh, quite a uh, handsome figure if you take into account particularly the Chinese growing role uh, in global affairs. Uh, therefore, the role of SICA is increasing and uh, with uh, the world uh, globalizing more and more, uh, there is a persistent uh, need uh, for different regional organizations to come together. Uh, this is being uh, called upon uh, from, from a legalistic point of view by the UN Charter, uh, the respective uh, article in the Charter which calls for the regional uh, cooperation, integration, and uh, with this in mind, we came up with the idea of SICA and uh, tried to persevere with that, uh, building the membership. Uh, the first initial group uh, comprised uh, less uh, than uh, 10 members, but we were uh, very happy and very proud to uh, get the support of uh, big Asian nations like uh, China, India. Uh, Russia was part of uh, this global effort, uh, and uh, slowly and slowly, uh, SICA uh, has uh, come into being and is coming of age, uh, as you uh, would say. Uh, we had uh, three summits. Uh, during the last third summit, uh, Turkey has uh, graciously and uh, in a uh, brotherly manner has supported Kazakhstan and has taken uh, the chairmanship in its uh, uh, very efficient hands. And we continue to work uh, with, uh, as the outgoing uh, or previous chair, with uh, Turkey to build awareness uh, uh, of SICA and uh, offer it as a very uh, efficient and promising platform uh, for making our world uh, a better place to live. Of course, one, one cannot say that SICA is a, just a, a replica uh, of uh, OEC. It cannot be uh, such because the uh, nature of uh, security issues in Europe are uh, a bit different, you understand, uh, uh, as compared to the uh, uh, nature of uh, security issues in Asia. Europe as a, con uh, as a geographic place uh, is a bit different than Asia, uh, but what we observe is that uh, uh, there are definitely uh, lots of issues which uh, uh, um, cross the borders and uh, constitute common concern. Uh, and uh, one can easily also try to apply the, the three-basket approach of SICA uh, of OEC, sorry, uh, to SICA. And actually, in its practical dealings, uh, OEC, uh, SICA has uh, started to go along uh, the same uh, way of thinking uh, as uh, people do in other uh, regional structures. Uh, SICA came up uh, with a number of uh, new ideas. 
For example, the idea of the CBMs was uh, uh, expanded uh, uniquely, and uh, 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 the uh, catalog of uh, CBM measures in SICA, uh, which is a unique document in my understanding, uh, uh, will bring you uh, such novelties like uh, CBMs in uh, cultural areas, for example, cultural cooperation area, or CBMs in the economic cooperation area, trade and economy. These are new things, uh, uh, even if it, it is applied to OEC. Uh, it is quite important that uh, uh, U.S., uh, 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 we see some signs that the United States uh, uh, also tries to uh, better understand what uh, uh, SICA is. And we encourage this, uh, and this uh, event which we have in uh, CSS is a good example uh, of this and uh, is a good tool uh, to promote further in the interest uh, of uh, uh, the United States uh, uh, towards uh, SICA. We know the global role of the United States, uh, uh, and we understand why uh, SICA was on the periphery of uh, U.S. Uh, foreign policy interests. As a global uh, uh, power, of course, uh, uh, U.S. has a host of uh, priorities in foreign policy, but uh, with its uh, 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 spreading uh, interests uh, uh, in uh, Middle East, uh, in Asia, uh, in South Asia, uh, where you see that uh, the United States uh, wants to uh, support the uh, regional cooperation in South Asia through enhancing so uh, the cooperation organization of South Asian countries or ASEAN, uh, or uh, U.S. efforts in Afghanistan, and uh, on the other hand, and when you look at SICA, on the other hand, uh, and you see there uh, Israel and Palestine sitting together uh, in one organization, uh, Pakistan and India being uh, founding members of the uh, SICA, um, Afghanistan and Iran being the founding members of SICA, uh, and lastly, Kyrgyzstan and Tajikistan, uh, uh, the countries which uh, face a lot of challenges at the moment in their growth, uh, you will understand that uh, SICA can constitute an important platform uh, for promoting uh, common interests in foreign policy area in international relations. Therefore, we would welcome uh, the opportunity uh, uh, or we would welcome the uh, growing efforts by the United States, uh, not only in trying to understand uh, uh, what SICA is, but uh, 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 viewing it as an important and useful instrument a uh, common instrument in, uh, uh, in promoting uh, uh, the issues of uh, common concern. OEC uh, is an important tool. Uh, last year when we had the OEC, uh, the SICA summit in Istanbul, uh, the first uh, institutional effort was uh, made uh, through uh, uh, two chairs effort, Turkey and Kazakhstan. We put together a sideline event during the summit, uh, OEC, SICA uh, uh, discussion panel. Uh, that was a very useful effort. Uh, uh, we have identified the areas uh, where both organizations can uh, cooperate with each other. And uh, uh, with our fresh memories of OEC uh, chairmanship, where we came uh, with four T's motors, uh, transparency, tolerance, trust, and tradition, I think uh, these uh, four T's can be easily applied uh, and efficiently applied uh, to what we try to do uh, within SICA. Therefore, I uh, would like to highlight the importance of uh, uh, involving major global actors uh, in uh, SICA efforts. Asia is becoming uh, a very important part of the world. Uh, uh, everyone tries to be visible now uh, in Asia Pacific and uh, to be visible uh, in uh, what's going on in Asia. Uh, and Kazakhstan is very proud being a Eurasian country to be right in the center uh, of uh, two big continents and uh, we'll be absolutely happy to continue to play our bridging role uh, we are always happy to offer our experiences in OEC chairmanship to uh, bring some value uh, to what we try to do in SICA. Let me remind you also that uh, this year Kazakhstan is the chair of OIC, Organization of Islamic Conference. Uh, we will also try to use our potential uh, and our experience in uh, bringing uh, common priorities uh, to the agenda and practical uh, 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 operations activities of uh, OIC. And, uh, uh, with this panel, I think uh, we have to continue to stir uh, the interest uh, uh, because when you uh, stir something, uh, definitely uh, some practical results are to come by. And I'd like to uh, thank all the participants who come from the capitals. Uh, we have our 
Special Envoy, Ambassador at Large for uh, SICA issues, uh, Ambassador Bakishev. I recognize my old friend, Ambassador of Turkey in Kazakhstan. He is now Ambassador, uh, Executive Secretary of the SICA Secretariat, Ambassador Aldemir, and many other friends. And uh, I'm very happy uh, to be part of your discussion, of course, and I'm open to uh, any questions you have. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Well, before we may have time for a few questions, but let me now turn to uh, Mr. Simonis, representing the current uh, CIO. Many thanks. So first of all, thank you, uh, CSAS, for permanent and continuous uh, attention to OEC and uh, to regional security and cooperation. For, uh, many thanks to Ambassador Tan and Ambassador Idris of, uh, for this event and uh, for your countries, which are both uh, members of OEC and SICA, and um, you, are, you are playing a prominent role in both organizations. and. Uh, uh, especially last year was a year of, um, of the region. Uh, it's very interesting to hear the growing numbers of the members in SICA and the impressive numbers of the, of the uh, people living in the region. That's why we, like Lithuania, like OEC current chair, we really attach a special importance towards uh, enhancing the OEC's uh, cooperative approach approach and out outreach to regional um, and sub-regional organizations. That was said many times uh, by our Minister of Foreign Affairs, uh, Zhubilis. And, uh, and uh, just to highlight that uh, even last year in Istanbul, uh, in, in the ministerial meeting of the Security and Economic uh, Cooperation uh, in Eurasia, he mentioned SICA being uh, as a partner with strong vision and uh, and capabilities. So this brings us uh, solid uh, ground and possibilities for cooperation. And uh, we, like um, Lithuanian uh, OEC chairmanship, we have certain priorities. I'm sure that you have heard about them. But just to remind them, and I think that uh, many of them are bringing uh, good possibilities for us to lay b good ground for cooperation among uh, SICA and OEC. And, um, one of our priorities is the regional stability and protracted conflicts. So uh, we understand that um, this is a good area for both organizations to at least exchange the understanding um, how the protracted conflicts might be dealt or discussions is important. We also believe that uh, the issue of conventional conventional arms control and confidence building and security, what Ambassador Idrisa was referring to, is also very important and is a good area for cooperation. We still believe that um, uh, the undergoing negotiations and talks about the CFE treaty uh, and about the Vienna document of 1999 uh, is very important this year and we expect that uh, some progress might be done this year. So. Another very concrete area where we think it's, um, it's a good area for cooperation, it is transnational threats, uh, which we all were talking about. And uh, this is uh, uh, thinking about the follow-up of Astana uh, summit. Uh, we really attach like a chairmanship, a special attention to the transnational threats. And we believe that we could um, really strengthen con uh, coordination among OEC structures and other organizations to make uh, maybe our mandates more more operative and more uh, constructive, especially, let's say, implementation in the concrete projects on the, let's say, border security or border management or transport. So we will also seek close consultations and cooperations with the non-OEC partners on various transnational threats um, issues, um, which like we all know, mostly originate uh, outside of OEC area. And uh, the discussion on the Afghanistan and concrete projects uh, around Afghanistan is really a very good uh, area, an important area for both organizations to cooperate. That's why Lithuania will be making, uh, like OEC chair, some um, um, events and, and consultation and seminars on the, let's say, enhancing the cooperation on combating drug trafficking and, and and how we have better to work uh, on the border controls, not to not to impede the um, 
flow of goods, but to increase the transparency and cooperation uh, fighting the drug trafficking. Well, uh, just jumping, uh, we understand that uh, security in current world is uh, really um, multidimensional, and uh, like OEC itself is looking at, at the security from all angles, from the comprehensive uh, point of view, and um, not only conflict prevention and promotion, but promotion of human rights and uh, fundamental freedoms is important. And uh, another area where Lithuania is going to concentrate and is already concentrating is about the media freedom and safety of journalists. So that's why we still free a lot. We see we can see a lot of threats and violence against uh, media workers. Uh, so we, like a chairman, she will be making a. A big conference devoted to discuss the safety of journalists, will, which will be held in Vilnius, and we believe that uh, this is the area we could, where politicians, media people, and uh, uh, from both organizations might uh, exchange their views. Jumping from uh, to other dimensions, what Ambassador Dizia was referring, that we can find really a lot of areas in every OEC dimension for cooperation. So let's say economic dimension. It's uh, really creation of the more safe and more efficient transport bo uh, corridors, especially in the region. So this is a very good opportunity for us all. Uh, exchange of the best practices, uh, we would say it's the best um, what we can um, look from the, our cooperation. Then let's say energy security is another important uh, issue. Well, Lithuania, like OEC chair, we're putting a lot of um, emphasis on this. And uh, we believe that uh, discussion on uh, how on reliability and sustainability of the supply of energy resources, especially in this world and especially now, is very important. So these are um, just, I, I would say, couple highlights uh, where we understand, where we can see for better cooperations and opportunities for both organizations. Uh, just to conclude, um, uh, we really appreciate that the Executive Director of SICA Security Ambassador Demir is today with us. Thank you so much for traveling a long way. Um, and we are really uh, grateful that Ambassador, you have um, taken, uh, you have agreed uh, uh, to take part in the one of the PC's permanent council uh, sessions this year. Lithuania has invited you to share your ideas as well. So it's, I think, uh, another very good opportunity. And uh, just concluding, uh, uh, ambassador, uh, chairman, of foreign, uh, chairman Azubulis, the foreign minister of uh, Lithuania, really thanks Kazakhstan and Turkey inviting him uh, last year in the SICA summit uh, when we were part of Troika, OEC Troika, where we really cooperated well with Kazakhstan especially. So we believe that this is uh, just the first invitation, but um, we hope that we could go on cooperating with SICA and looking for opportunities in very concrete areas. So once again, thank you so much. This was a brief um, highlight of our Lithuania OEC chairmanship. Our, recently, our uh, Minister of Foreign Affairs, who is the chair of OEC, he was recently in this capital. Uh, I could say that uh, he and uh, OEC got uh, really substantial attention to what we're trying to do. And uh, I think that we need just to continue and to uh, cooperate with SICA as well. So regional cooperation is on the Lithuania's uh, championship priorities with very concrete proposals. So thank you so much. Well, thank you, Mr. Satunas. Uh, and thank you all for, uh, I think, giving us a good outline of some of the issues that will be explored in the subsequent panels. We, we start a little bit late, um, but uh, my colleague, Bilant Ali Reza, said we could maybe have time for just a couple of quick questions if you have them, but we really do need to move to the other panel. Uh, the first panel, uh, this, uh, the, f the second uh, full panel. Are there any questions from the floor, though, or before we proceed to ask the uh, our, our, diploma our diplomatic panel? We our other panels will have a mix of experts and, and diplomats, but uh, this is the the view from uh, fr uh, from the key governments involved. Okay. Well, if uh, if there aren't, I want to just thank the panel, as I said, for giving us a, a good overview of these key issues that will now be explored in the next uh, next few sessions. And uh, on behalf of our president, John Hamry, who regrets he couldn't be here with you, we wish you a successful conference and uh, look forward to uh, to hearing the results. Thank you, thank you. So, if you join me in, in uh, uh, thanking also the the three ambassadors uh, and uh, the three diplomats for joining us today. So.